Catch, catch that rooster! <laughs> That's my uh, introduction to this book. No, I'm just joking. All right, we're back at it. I don't know why I made that short uh, introduction a while back. Um, well, let me get this thing. I don't know why I made the introduction where it's only two minutes long on the last video. I must have had technical difficulties, you know? <laughs> no, I was joking. All right, so uh, this one's a little bit longer because we're going to explain a little bit more. <laughs> Guys, you're not going to go ahead and figure out everything in the stories. Not like last time. Uh-uh. No, no, no. You're going to go ahead this time, and you're gonna not, I'm not going to introduce any type of writing. Oh, well, I am. I am gonna introduce you guys the like uh, passages, like the chapters. We're gonna go through chapter one. We're gonna skip chapter two. We're gonna go to chapter five. Mostly, a lot of the things are gonna be in chapter five. Why? Because there's a lot of good stuff in chapter two, and there's a lot of good sh stuff in number three. I think it was. But when I look at my list, I'll let you know. Okay. All right. So. Let's go. So, let's see what's going on here. Now, you see this, um, remember Roadrunner? Um, so, this is like an example. I'm going to use this as an example so you can get the feeling of what's going on in the book before you read it, right? Also, you, you can go ahead and if you want, you can, you can actually watch, read the book while you're reading this. You can either go both ways, back and forth, front, back back forth whatever you want to do this is just an expanded view so you should already be introduced to all this kind of stuff already because you already know the moto you know the rotation you know the schedule you know what's going on because of the past videos so we're going to be entertaining this right we're going to keep on entertaining this fact Right now, this is an example of, okay, so you see how he's always running and stuff. He's always escaping. He's trying to get away from the uh, coyote. So in my story, right, the, far, the coyote is the farmer. The coyote is the farmer, okay? So this is why I use this. This is a really good example. The... Uh, the, the 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 rooster in here not is not necessarily um, as fast as that roadrunner because it's localized. Remember, it's localized to the farm. So, and then also, I want to look at you see this picture right here. When I saw this, I was like, oh, yo, this is like um, the same exact thing I wanted to tell everybody. So. And it gives a good, a good example. So listen, instead of this being like um, more of like uh, Bugs Bunny and the hunter type thing where like he's trying to or the coyote trying to catch the, the, the bird. This is going to be more of a the story is more of like a spy. So the rooster is more of a spy. Because remember, he has to do all he's going to do a lot of traps, set, set traps for the farmers. Do a lot of wacky stuff to throw him off his, um, throw him off his, um, throw him off. Okay. And it's more of like a, a, a more, he's, his, his personality is more, or the, the feeling you get from the rooster is more of like a spy. So, and, and on top of that, it's going to be more of a, almost as if it's like a, almost like a mission impossible but not really. So you just get that type of feeling from that rooster and the relationship with the um, the relationship with the farmer, right? So that that's that's why this is a very good example of uh, my book. So see you see what, you see what I'm doing right here. It has nothing to do with Roadrunner, but I'm taking elements um, from it, and I'm I'm and I'm hold on for a second. Give me one second.
All right, so, you know, I forgot where I was, so I'm moving on. So what else? Talked about, like, this is more of like a, they have like a spy. He's like a spy, spying on the farmer. Um, this is more of like, you have a feeling of, this is almost like, uh, if you think of Mission Impossible, um, he's going to be like setting traps, doing, it's going to be more of like a cartoony type of feeling. But not this, not, not, not like this really but it is it's not really like this but it is you have to look at the way I, I told you and then you have to keep going through these videos to understand what's going on right so it, there is no the coyote isn't trying to catch the, the isn't trying to really catch the chicken throughout the entire story there's just certain moments that he just gets frustrated and when he tries to get the rooster because the rooster is always there Remember that it's localized, right, guys? It's a, it's they're on the farm. So remember what I told you about when you're reading something. I want you to make sure you're always you feel like you're actually there. So I'm giving you a uh, expanded view of what's going on, so you can expand your mind and, and you can see what plays out, right? So he's localized, right? So every time he's trying, every time that the 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 rooster does something, that's when he wants to, to catch him. And then he gets away. And then he's like, ah, whatever. You know? But he can get it. He can actually get him any time. Remember that. The farmer can actually get him at any time. It's just that. And he, oh, and he doesn't know that the rooster is doing the, the traps. Setting traps and doing a lot, a lot of the antics, right? But you'll, so, you'll slowly figure out how he gets a clue of something is wrong on the farm. Right? That's why I'm gonna skip a couple chapters, and so so you don't know. So you when you read it, you understand what's going on. So then, right, we introduce. Uh, before we do that, I want to introduce some two other characters are gonna be coming, right? But let me see if I can look for what's that thing called? Okay. Um, let's see if I can find it. No, why does it keep coming up? Okay. Um, There's go. no limit to your savings right now at Haverty's because you can save a hundred dollars off every thousand you spend so, as your pay off this time, son. This right here. This is it, when I was when I was watching this. Right, I was like, um, this is almost like the type of relationship. This, um, think of this as like how how. The, the the rooster doesn't give the farmer much respect, right? So let me show you something. You caught yourself a trunk. This is no chicken, son. It's a you see that dog. Imagine that's the farmer, right? And that chicken is the rooster, right? None of this stuff you see in here plays out, but I'm giving you I'm giving you like the understanding of the relationship between the the rooster and the farmer. Trunk, big soup. That is, this is a truck. And um, you see, <laughs> he thinks he's he thinks he's the boss of the entire farm, right? And he has his he the hens, which is his girls, right? So the the the, <laughs> the rooster doesn't respect the farmer, and he feels like he's in control of the entire operation, right? He feels like he's in control of the entire op operation. He has like ten girls. He's can he's he's a uh, and then the farmer, listen, the farmer is supposed to be the real boss, right? So let me, sh let me uh, keep playing it. Boy! Any of this getting through that little old blue bonnet of yours? Ah, yo, okay, so let's get into the, there's 10 chickens, right? There's gonna be 10 chickens, and then they all have their own personalities, okay? So let's get into that, um, and then we're gonna introduce um, two other uh, human characters. There's two other human characters. Um, I have an example um, sketch from internet that somebody did and we're going to use that one, right? 
but it's almost exact replica of what the uh, what they look like, right? So we'll do that in the next video.